What is up ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a big one for you, a fresh preview of 2020. So basically World of Tanks uh, first ideas revealed about 2020. And we have many interesting topics over here and uh, you know, I know how much you hate reading all the articles, patch notes, news, stuff like that. I have to do it for you. So this is story time with a Death Games World of Tanks 2020 edition. Yes, it is. <laughs> and today's episode is also part of the Edesmus 2019. So, ladies and gentlemen, a big shout out to the Rage Shadow Legends for making this giveaway possible in 2019. Thank you so much for uh, supporting this channel and this giveaway. Try it out for free using the links in the description, ladies and gentlemen. Go check it out. And at the end of today's episode, I am going to announce... Uh, I don't know how many winners uh, from all the previous giveaways, so stay tuned for that. But now, without further ado, let's actually dive into this article because I have many exciting news, super exciting news to share with you. For example, a Death Games Commander in World of Tanks. This December, a special event dedicated to Wargaming Games brought some of our devoted fans and experienced players together in Moscow. Uh, those who attended this event heard uh, firsthand our future development plans for World of Tanks, which we are ready to share with you. So let's roll, ladies and gentlemen. The 10th anniversary, crew 2.0, uh, equipment reworking, uh, new balance, frontline steel warrior, streamer wars, um, BV event, battle pass, uh, new vehicles, Pearl River map. Uh, you may have heard about some of those things on my channel before, uh, for example, like Pearl River map is coming back and so on. Uh, but uh, let's go over them one by one. And I actually want to start with Stream Wars, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you one thing about this right now. I completely hate his uh, over here, how they call it, Stream Wars. I really do hate it because I am not even close being um, a streamer, a good streamer at the moment. I just started streaming, basically. Uh, I haven't announced it too many times on my YouTube channel even, so I would say at the moment I'm still 90% of uh, doing YouTube things and 10% maybe uh, streaming things, so to call it stream wars, I don't know. Well, uh, seems like um, how everything uh, was happening, how they invited me as well, seems like I was one of the final picks or maybe even the final pick because I basically had one day to decide if I want to be part of it or not. So, I don't know why some of uh, really big names are not over here, I do not know all the story behind it, uh, I have heard some bad communication issues and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I basically had one day to decide if I want to be over here or not, uh, uh, but I decided to be uh, part of it, of course, because this is basically a once in a lifetime opportunity to be in a game, to get into a game uh, this big with your character basically. So what you are going to get is a crew member with the appearance of your favorite streamer, <sighs> content creator, thank you, community contributor, thank you, and his exclusive voiceover in battle. Yes, we actually recorded some voiceovers as well. Um, my character is going to be a lot different compared to the other. Uh, streamers. Uh, I think I'm not allowed to say anything more. Just in case I'm not going to say anything more, but please, Wargaming. I, the first I heard about this event as well, when they mentioned something like Stream Wars, I said, can we please talk about the name? I really do not want to see this Stream Wars as the name of this event, because I'm not a streamer. I believe uh, Awesome Epic is um, um, would like to call that as a YouTuber as well. I don't know. And I can understand why I was the final guy who they invited or so-called filler who they invited because if they wanted to make this about streamers, uh, most definitely I understand it because there are many, many bigger names uh, missing from this list. But hey, what can you do? I won the lottery, I guess. Uh, so basically, uh, we have event uh, where you're able to win uh, me as a commander or skill for LTU or awesome epic guys or mainland. Uh, all dudes over here, like super 
uh, honor being in the same line with all you guys. Um, yeah, this event is going to be amazing. So you are able to win commander exclusive stuff on the top of that. It is, it is awesome. And as I said, I am going to be, well, I don't know how much I'm able to say anyway. Just wait and see, I guess. Just wait and see. So this is Stream Wars name I hate. Maybe now after we have two YouTubers over here and two streamers, maybe we can do it like Clash, the Clash of Content Creators or the Clash of Contributors. Like Clash of Clans. Anyway, now that out of the way, let's move on with the article. The 10th anniversary of World of Tanks. Oh boy, big numbers indeed. Next year marks the 10th anniversary of our game, a great round number and a really considerable ace for a project in the gaming industry. Word. Um, this is actually a really, really big number. <clears throat> we simply have to celebrate this anniversary in a big way together with all our fans and we are uh, already working hard on its concept. Hopefully harder than on Halloween event 2019. Mm -hmm. The celebration will kick off in the spring of 2020 and will consist of several stages. This is actually a nice number to get uh, 10 years old on 2020, 20 years old on 2030, nice timing. Each stage will correspond to a certain milestone of the project which has uh, left its mark in the heart of players. Uh, so we're going to see some time machine action over here, I believe. A feast of rewards, new mechanics, uh, so maybe new mechanics, they're going to test something for the future because this is what they usually like to do with the special events and engaging events await. So get ready to party with us. We also plan to launch the, a grand tank festival at the final stage of the anniversary. Okay, so what we're going to get, some events, rewards, I like it, nothing to complain about. Next up, let's talk about Crew 2.0. This is going to be a big one. Because previously, Crew Core has not changed for years. So limiting itself merely to some minor updates and features. Crew skins, crew books, um, so on and so on. Yes, crew books actually. They just introduced crew books not too long time ago. Maybe half year ago or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but World of Tanks is const constantly evolving. So the time has come to rethink our vision of the crew concept. Next year, we will introduce the brand new Crew 2.0. And here will no longer be tankers with certain specialities in the rework crew. Instead, one commander will take their place. Several commanders will form a unit that can be moved to different tanks, so interacting with it will be more convenient than with individual tankers. We also completely redesigning. We are also completely redesigning the perks system. The number of available perks will increase to 25, and the crew members' training system will change too. You will be able to choose in which direction the development to develop the commander skills. You are also able to create multiple crew configurations for each vehicle depending on your gameplay style, which will affect its performance in battle. So them increasing the number of perks up to 25, this gives me some uh, worth, uh, not War Thunder, sorry, a uh, World of Warships wipes. I think the crew system is going to be something like that. Over there we basically have crew members um, skill 3, you have to go down from one way or another way, you have different uh, different options over there, over there, so... Mm, this gives me World of Warships wipes, but uh, once again we have to wait and see. It may sound complex at first, yeah, now, but we will introduce the revamped crew concept step by step, so it will be easy for everyone to understand and to take advantage of the all new mechanics. Yes, so if they are going to introduce it step by step, I am going to make it clear for you as well, step by step, so <clears throat> we can all learn together about this new system and uh, hopefully it is going to be a lot better because at the moment I have to say um, <clears throat> it is quite boring 
you're using the same crew skills, you're using the same loadouts on basically every single same type vehicle, maybe some minor differences like on my E50M, I'm having fun, I'm having fun using a ramming setup, uh, ramming skills on my uh, driver for example what I normally do not use on any other medium tank, but usually those are kind of like straightforward. Brothers in arms, you need brothers in arms, you need uh, recon situational awareness, you need uh, six cents, and after that, well, you choose whatever you want, basically. Next up, equipment reworking. The revision of the crew concept will have an impact on some of the related game mechanics uh, to which we will pay close, uh, close attention. One of them is the equipment system, which also hasn't changed for a long time. <clears throat> Today, for most tankers, there are certain sets of equipment that are available to all players. On the other hand, some types of equipments Equipment are not very popular or no longer consistent with the current gameplay. We aim to change the characteristics of the existing equipment units and add new items designed for different vehicles to perform specific combat roles. We also want to add more variety in the choice of equipment and thereby help you develop your arsenal in the direction that matches your play style. Okay, this is actually so true over here. We also want to add more variety. Uh, in the choice of equipment, uh, because um, at the moment, uh, basically every single medium tank for me has vertical stabilizer, rammer, and coated optics. Basically, for every single medium tank, no choices over there, nothing to think about. Like equipment, uh, this is uh, this is what I like to see some like gameplay quality updates. Um, crew system, new perks, uh, more stuff to think about, uh, more options, equipment setup, the same thing, more options. Hopefully it is going to help it out. New balance system comes with uh, many new features, um, HP improvements for low tier vehicles. Basically, I think for all tiers, I don't know why they are saying low tier vehicles over here. A rework of shell types and related uh, changes to durability for all vehicles, yes. Okay, so I don't know why why is this different because they both receive more hit points. Um, oh well, uh, changes in the mechanic of dealing damage with HG shells, uh, rebalancing of SPGs and tier shells. So yes, in this video basically they are talking about ammunition types. Yeah, new standard shell basically has more more damage, uh, uh, costs you less credits, and the penetration is not as good, but uh, penetration stays the same. It simply deals more damage now than premium rounds. Premium rounds, uh, penetration is higher, damage is less, and profit, uh, profitability is a lot lower because it costs a lot more. And AG over here, they are saying uh, calibers up to 120 should be more useful with AG, more consistent damage. And uh, calibers uh, from 120 to 150 are not as devastating anymore. Just a quick recap for you. Uh, they continue talking about artilleries and, and new features or new sandbox testings. For example, improved way uh, in-game statistics are displayed. They want to improve the way in-game statistics are displayed because, uh, you know, uh, they increase the alpha damage, they increase the HP of every single tank, so results are going to be different. Uh, results, um, you are able to get a lot more uh, higher damage battles more often because uh, you have more HP on the battlefield, you have bigger alpha damage with your standard shots and so on. Uh, so they are going to uh, basically make two uh, different sets of statistics, the overall and the current one. The current one basically, I guess, shows you the last uh, month, uh, you can set it to whatever, I guess, the last uh, 1000 battles or something like that. And all this, ladies and gentlemen, all this, all HP improvements, all of this, um, like, refine personal missions as well, because they raised, increased the, the HP of every single vehicle uh, to increase the alpha damage on standard shells, uh, just to keep premium rounds damage the same. This is actually quite a ridiculous thing. Just, they didn't want to nerf premium rounds, they wanted to buff everything else, everything else. They have to make new statistics, they have to make new personal missions, because some of them are going to be way too easy. 
they have to adjust the in-game economy system as well uh, so now the credit and experience income is going to stay the same because they have to change the algorithm as well and uh, finally revised vehicle research branches ah, okay okay this is a bit different one yes uh, they basically want to uh, revisit the tech tree want to make it a bit more understandable for new players uh, who might get uh, trapped into the tech tree um, in in bad lines because sometimes one vehicle can uh, go into three different tanks and so on so for newer players it can be a bit um, a bit too complicated uh, for us older older players so-called veterans this is no problem but uh, i understand why they are aiming at the new players as well so what they're going to do is they're going to remove some of the vehicles from the deck tree which are going to be available from other sources in-game events and stuff like that um, yeah, <clears throat> when it is going to happen, I don't know, but they are going to launch the first testings at the beginning of 2020 because they want to do it ASAP. Now, moving on, Frontline and Steel Warrior, they talk about Frontline game mode over here, how popular it was, and uh, it, is coming, it is going to be back over here together with Steel Hunter mode. Yes, please, I really enjoyed Steel Hunter. Uh, this was the Battle Royale style game mode. I really did enjoy it. Uh, one thing I didn't enjoy about it was how fast I was able to get up to rank 25, and after that, no rewards, no progression, uh, simply if I wanted to play it i had to do it simply for my own uh, fun um, yeah progression system needs to be a lot better i was able to get up to rank 25 in basically two evenings so then to, to, then this mode was done for me i enjoyed it a lot i enjoyed it uh, i was able to get many 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 victories it was awesome i want to see it back but the progression system so-called end game has to be a lot better than it is or than it was and uh, they are going to basically connect the um, progression systems uh, frontline mode and steel hunter progression systems together uh, in the revamped progression system uh, moreover the rework progression will be integrated with the revamped frontline yes so steel hunter mode the progression is going to be integrated with a revamped frontline mode as well so you will get additional uh, rewards and additional common progression which is nice moving on we talked about that uh, all awesome guys over here all are awesome epic guys over here in this list um, honor to be in the same list with you uh, BVE event in 2020 we will release a special BVE event with a historical theme it will be a natural extension of Homefront which we launched this summer and will inherit its best gameplay features with a number of upgrades and modifications the tables have turned and instead of repelling the attacks of hordes of enemies it's now time for you to go uh, on the offensive and make rapid attacking maneuvers conquering enemy territory okay so vice versa basically first battle take on the special Berlin map okay i have actually featured this map before as well on my channel i believe so yeah anyway all in all the home front event was a complete disaster in my opinion it was the worst possible event um, uh, matchmaking wise uh, matchmaking was so god awfully bad uh, tier 3 tank was able to team up with uh, tier 1 tanks and if that happened uh, there was no way how you were able to win it and you basically wasted your time okay Battle Pass, so this is going to be a bit interesting one. Ne next spring, you will be able to participate in a long term and progression based activity with new mechanics called Battle Pass. So to participate in Battle Pass, uh, you will simply need to play in random battles, perform at your best, and earn progression points, which will automatically increase your Battle Pass level. The number of points earned depends on your position in your team's post-battle ranking by experience earned. By reaching its level, you are rewarded with valuable in-game items. There will be a lots of battle pass levels and each provides you with a nice reward. So basically this is like standard battle ranked mode. Kinda, like, um, not, not exactly, but kinda like um, standard battle ranked mode 
I don't know, this is what kind of vibes this is giving me at least. On the top of other valuable prices, you can earn bounty equipment, a new special type of standard equipment. Its characteristics can be improved to the level of improved equipment and you can unmount it from your vehicle using gold, not bonds, like standard equipment. This is really awesome in my opinion. Now you can get those kind of improved equipment units if you level them up, if you upgrade them without playing the rank battles mode once again, which uh, so many of you actually do not like to play, so yeah. By the way, battle pass progression doesn't end after reaching the ultimate level. After completing the main progression, the post-progression journey begins with additional rewards. Also, after reaching the final level of the main progression, you will get a badge that shows your current battle pass level, a mark of honor that lets other players know you are a force to be reckoned with. This is nice. Extra rewards simply by playing random battles, simply by playing the game. You do not even need to play the special game modes. Not bad. New vehicles, of course. We are going to get many new vehicles. We are constantly looking for outstanding new vehicles and branches to add to World of Tanks. Our key purpose has always been to introduce tanks that will provide you with fresh dynamic gameplay. Hashtag double barrel tanks. Next winter, please make KV2 free happen. KV2 with three barrels. Please. Please, Wargaming. Please. Please. Next year, we plan to release at least two new branches of different nations. One of them most likely will be a branch of Italian heavy tanks. Okay, we know uh, we know what one branch is going to be. One branch uh, is going to be double barreled heavy tanks on the Soviet tech tree. I don't know if this is like counted over here as well or not. Anyway, they are already working on the double barreled heavy tanks for the Soviet uh, tech tree. But Italian heavy tanks, this actually might be interesting. I want to see them. I want to see them. So yeah, and on the top of that, they're always looking for more blueprints, documents and stuff like that. New vehicles. Most importantly, new premium tanks. Every week, at least one, if not two. It would be best if we get three premium tanks per week. Make it happen. It was a sarcasm, by the way, guys. Finally, Pearl River. I have talked about this as well, uh, they reworked the Pearl River, uh, they are reworking it, uh, they are uh, thinking about bringing it back, yes, veterans surely remember, uh, but uh, in my opinion they still didn't rework the biggest choke points on the map, which was the middle. They need to do something about that as well, then we are going to be happy. On the top of that, Perlin map, yes, I have made an episode about this one as well, the first early look episode. If you want to check them out, type um, World of Tanks Pearl River, Death Games, World of Tanks Perlin, Death Games, something like that. And uh, those, those maps will pop up, those episodes will pop up. So yeah, all the details will be available later, so stay tuned. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, new maps, new vehicles, New bonuses, PV event, um, clash of contributors, contributors, mm -hmm. frontline, steel hunter, future changes, plans, uh, rebalancing, uh, no words about E100 IS4 by the way, equipment reworking, super welcome, crew, uh, crew reworking, super welcome, and more free stuff, more bonuses, super welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is World of Tanks early, fresh preview of World of Tanks in 2020. Most likely we are still going to get some more updates, uh, more new features. So they cannot name all the things over here as well, I'm pretty sure, because this is basically like a fresh preview. They are definitely working on some other things which they are not sharing at the moment. But now it is time to give something away, ladies and gentlemen. And from today's episode, you are able to win two times 2,500 gold. Yes, no joke, two, two people, two players are going to be a bit more happy because I am going to give away two times 2,500 gold. All you have to do for that is super simple as always. Number one answer to my today's video question, which is... 
what do you think about this article what are you hyped about the most um, just let me know your feedback your first feedback your opinion about it in the comments down below together with your username and in-game server number two uh, be a subscriber because i want to support you you watch my stuff i give stuff to you hand washes hand you know and uh, finally if you leave like you are going to make me happy it is desmos 2019 ladies and gentlemen and on the screen right now i am going to put all the winners uh, from the previous giveaways from the previous week enjoy it congratulations because i haven't um, i haven't picked him yet but the moment you are watching the episode all the names should be over there and and if you received your prize feel free to take a screenshot or let me know in the comments down below so everyone is going to see that stuff over here is a legit as a legit as it can be i love you all stay awesome ladies and gentlemen take care and bye